from Phantasma Headquarters in New York City, filling in for Magic Ballet, it's the Great Day! Hi everybody, yes, I'm Steve Dane. I'm filling in for Magic Ballet because he's away. Welcome, welcome to the Magic uh, Headquarters at Phantasma here at 421 7th Avenue. Uh, for those of you who didn't hear, we just moved to the third floor. We're in the same building, but we're now on the third floor. We have a beautiful new showroom and this gorgeous Houdini Museum. Everything is archived and framed and so forth. You'll want to come in and see that and see us to see some of the latest uh, magic that we have coming in all the time. Uh, yes, exactly. So you can say hello to Magic Me or Ulysses and we'll be sure to help you out. For this segment, we, uh, we usually have people write in, and today we had someone write in. This is Justin from Buffalo Breath, Wyoming. Uh, Justin writes, uh, can you give me your best advice for when something goes wrong during a performance? Now, it's too bad Magic isn't here. He has a lot of experience with that. <laughs> but seriously, that's a great question. Thanks, Justin. Uh, well you know things are going to go wrong. No matter how good you are, no matter how much experience, things are going to go wrong. So the best thing is to have a worst case scenario built in or plan for uh, uh, something to uh, be handled in a different way. Uh, for example, people uh, might try to throw you off course. You're a magician and people do sometimes like to mess with you. As a performer, you have to be uh, you know, prepared for that and cultivate responses. People often say, oh, can you make my wife disappear? And I have a response that I use over and over. It gets a good response. It's very funny. And uh, it's my own personality. So you can use your own personality to have comebacks, one-liners. Or you can refer to some of these things like right here. We have Darwin's 101 fillers. Things to say when you have nothing to say. Um, there are a lot of little pamphlets out like this on the market, and they give you ideas about um, how to get back on track uh, when, when you need to. Uh, the other thing is, is that um, sometimes you can restart, uh, and, and they, the, you have to remember people don't know what's going to happen. So you can restart with another idea. They don't know if you're a good enough actor and performer keeping the ball rolling, you can keep the uh, control. That's what you want to do. You want to keep the ball in your court. Uh, no matter what happens. Uh, the other thing is, is sometimes when something goes off course, you may get a stronger outcome when you go for a recovery on a trick than you might have had with the original effect to begin with. Um, anyway, that's uh, sort of my best response to that kind of thing. Uh, cultivating your own little lines is really good. Sometimes I'll even write them down so I remember them and rehearse them at another time. Uh, keep that in mind. Come on in and see us. Uh, you also want to bear in mind, there's another thing that's been around for a long time. It's called Outs, Precautions, and Challenges. It uh, focuses on card magic, and it's by Charles H. Hopkins. And uh, I found some uh, useful material there along the way. Uh, in the meantime, if you do want to reach out to us, right here, you can send an email to online at phantasmamagic.com, or you can mail uh, something in to us at Phantasma Magic, 421 7th Avenue, 3rd Floor, New York, New York, 10001, and uh, we'd love to hear what you have to say or any other questions. We're happy to uh, address them as we can. So thanks very much, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you.